For me, it's been a fun day because in the morning, we kind of look back over the last 20 years of thinking about energy research and particularly clean energy research and lower greenhouse gas emissions and tried to figure out ways to, to do that more effectively here at Stanford. Innovation is the key issue. Mm. I don't care if you're a startup, if you're a university, if you're a big company, if you lose that innovation drive, you will become uncompetitive over time and you will not thrive. This morning, we are here to celebrate and to explore farther Stanford's energy innovation ecosystems and celebrating the successes of three companies that have had a head start on 20 companies you will hear about later this afternoon in the showcase. I think if you're thinking of an idea right now, you can basically see the power of Stanford ecosystem and start a company because you can, uh, you can validate the idea, you can get the money, you can assemble the team, you can find first few customers. And if you are a little bit lucky, then you might even find an exit right here. <laughs> so, and, and I mean, the, the, the fact that I'm here is, it, it, that's really my story. Bundle is an end-to-end -end procurement platform that makes it easier for builders and suppliers to buy, sell, and manage construction materials. We're minimizing construction waste. One of the things that really got us going was a grant from the Tomcat Center, which I've heard is, we're not unique in that in this audience, and really having some of those resources to get you jump-started into the industry um, really helps um, both when taking the plunge into entrepreneurship, but also really giving you the tools that you need to succeed as an early stage company. So Shift Power Solutions is an early stage energy technology startup and we provide an IoT hardware and software platform to help emerging markets create a transition to a cleaner, uh, more sustainable ecosystem that really relies more on solar and storage. So this is uh, just kind of a sample of our hardware that allows us to collect all of that data between generators, fuel tanks, solar inverters, battery storage systems, so that we can present back to our customers what's really going on. Our venture is called Oleo Sustainable Palm Oil Solutions, and we're working to develop a deforestation-free sustainable alternative to palm oil. It would recycle agricultural waste from existing farms in top-producing nations um, to produce a lab-grown alternative that would increase overall yield to meet the rising global demand for palm oil without the need for further deforestation. We've had a lot of folks come by who are interested, you know, and venture capitalists, people interested in potentially funding us at later stages, um, and we've also had the privilege of talking with a lot of different scientists in different research areas, um, especially, you know, bioeconomies and things like that. Um, so we've gotten a really great exposure uh, to different folks around the Stanford ecosystem. Universities have this unusual situation in that we're the preservers of the past knowledge, mm -hmm. but we're also the inventors of the future. Yeah. And we have to do both of those functions and do them both well. The problem is a lot bigger than we initially thought. It's not going to be enough just to reinvent some new renewable energy sources. That's important, mm -hmm. but we've got to do more. We've got to do a broader agenda. And we've got to think about how do we build a future that's sustainable, not only for the people in this country, but for the people the, around the world and the global south, yeah. and, and build a scheme that really works for everybody.